Hi, my name is Michael. I am serving here at RSI Indonesia. Um, I've seen a lot of schools in various countries all around the world and you look at programs and other things and that's great. But one thing I've learned to do when I walk through a new school are people saying hello to each other. Are the teachers saying hello to students? Are the administrators saying hello to the students? Are teachers and faculty members saying hello to each other? Just in that little bit of communication, you can tell whether it's a healthy culture, a healthy community or not. You can tell if people genuinely care for each other, not just in the classroom, but outside of the classroom, in the hallways at lunchtime. Do, do adults say hello to uh, the students? So that's one thing I always look for because culture is such an important part of a student's growth. They wanna be in a healthy, safe environment. They wanna be in an environment where people care about them. So if you ever go through a school, just look and listen. Do people say hello? Well, I think you can consider facilities in two categories. Facilities that show and facilities that care. Show as in showing things to impress people. A lot of schools have facilities to impress people, okay? And that's fine. But really, a school has to have facilities to really care for their students. And that means, um, do they have all the technological uh, facilities to make sure students are learning in an advanced way. Um, they may have a laboratory for science, but are the teachers using the laboratories? Are they doing experiments? Uh, they may have a library, but are the kids going to the library constantly and reading books there? Are uh, kids getting good exercise when they're in the gym and so on? So facilities, uh, the most important facilities for great education are, are the ones that really uh, the school invested so that the kids can grow. You know, for us, even here, um, you know, we buy air purifiers so that kids can have a safe, clean uh, place to breathe, uh, even though we have, you know, mask policies or whatever. Um, we wanted to go an extra step for smoke season and such. So those kind of things show whether uh, a school really cares about its students or not. And it really cares about whether students are learning well or not. Well, let's first define what safe means. Safe can mean a place where there are no dangerous people, but I think safe can have a deeper meaning. Uh, safe can also be a place where children will not be judged by their abilities or their beliefs or their cultural backgrounds, that everyone loves and values them for who they are. And so that's very, very important for us as a school. And we also want to be supportive. And what we mean by supportive is not just trying to help them, but trying to develop them at their pace. We want to support them. And that means really uh, it's a community effort, right? So it's not just supporting the child, but it's supporting the parents at home, trying to create a great environment at school and uh, trying to relay that environment at home as well. So. Safe and supportive means a lot of partnership, a lot of care, and a lot of understanding. Well, that's it for me. Thank you for listening. Bye.